In this video we're staging a long distance race which will go all the way across the game map. And our three horses are this brown leopard Appaloosa which is an epilogue horse. Then we have John's seal brown thoroughbred aka Rachel. And our final horse is the reverse dapple roan Nakoda which has maximum speed. All three horses are very pretty. This Nakoda especially has a beautiful blue coat. And this is a look at the route. The race will end on the little island in the river just north of Brandywine Drop. You can see it goes across the Heartlands and through West Elizabeth and all the way across New Austin and the starting point is just outside of Tumbleweed. And let's just get the race underway now. There's another look at the relevant stats. The Appaloosa has 7 speed and 9 stamina. The Thoroughbred has 9 speed and 7 stamina. And the Nakoda has 10 speed and 6 stamina. We'll see if stamina turns out to be an issue or not. Now, we're probably not going to learn anything new here with this race. I would be very surprised if the Nakoda did not finish first or if the Appaloosa did not finish last. But it is interesting to see the gap between the horses with your own eyes. Numbers are abstract, and as they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. I enjoy playing with all three of these horses. I love riding the Thoroughbreds. I love their size, their appearance, and their nice long stride. And I think a good argument can be made for Rachel being the best thoroughbred in the game. I really, really love Appaloosas. And in my opinion, this is the best Appaloosa in the game. It has the same stats as the Leopard Appaloosa, but I think its coat is more beautiful. And I think it's a pity you can only get it in the epilogue chapters. And as for the Nakoda, it's just a lot of fun to ride. It's like driving a small sports car with a powerful motor. It's beautiful. It sounds like it's hauling ass when it runs. The only issue with it is it has low health. And if you're like me, and you have a lot of encounters with big groups of bounty hunters, this horse is not really ideal for that gameplay style. I find myself constantly worrying if I'm using this horse in combat. But its great weapon is its speed. And if you run into trouble, you can certainly leave that trouble behind you if you want. Okay, that's our first timing point. Rachel had a little trouble at a turn back there, so she lost a little time, but the overall order is just what you'd expect. We're moving through Armadillo, which is suffering from a plague of cholera. Now we're back in open country so the horses can stretch their legs again back up to full speed. And we're headed towards McFarland's ranch right now. I was quite eager to put this race on, not just to make a video but simply for fun. I don't play enough in New Austin or do enough in this part of the map. But playing with John and riding different horses and seeing different scenery is a good change of pace. And as I said earlier, this Appaloosa is probably my favorite overall, and so playing every once in a while as John gives me a chance to ride this horse. That's the only negative thing you can really say about this Appaloosa is that Arthur never gets to ride it. And I'm very jealous of Mr. Trelawney because this is his horse in the game. And speaking of Appaloosas, I would also very much like to get Uncle's horse, which is an Appaloosa. It has an interesting coat. I tried to get it before, but it, I couldn't make it work. Now, it must be said, I didn't do any practice runs on this course, and the Thoroughbred was the first horse I used. So Rachel's run is more or less my training run. 
So if she makes mistakes that the other horses do not, that's probably why. And now we're headed down to the lower Montana River, where we will leave New Austin and enter West Elizabeth. And now up through tall trees. And both the Nakoda and the Thoroughbred have race handling while the Appaloosa has standard handling, so they might have a slight advantage on twisty sections like this. And while the two racehorses have the same handling, the Nakoda is a lot smaller than the Thoroughbred, so it can fit in places that the Thoroughbred simply cannot. So the Nakoda has a slight edge there over the bigger horse. And we're going to use the gate at Manzanita Post for a timing point. We can see that the thoroughbred is losing about half a second per minute to the Nakoda, and that's about right. An Arabian would lose about the same amount. And at this point, the Appaloosa is losing about one second per minute, which is actually slightly better than I would have expected. We're on the road to Blackwater now. Just coming up to John's Ranch, Beecher's Hope. And this is the upper Montana River. coming out behind the dilapidated Fort Riggs. At this point, the Appaloosa no longer has the race leader in sight. She'll see the Nakoda sometimes, but lose sight sometimes. The Thoroughbred is still within easy shotgun slug range of the Nakoda though. So even though the Nakoda is pretty easily out in front, it would still be vulnerable to an attack from a rider from behind if the horse has nine speed. And this is after seven minutes of running. This is another thing I like about races like this. They demonstrate that there is simply not that much difference between horses as far as speed is concerned. There are some times when I notice speed, and that's usually when I'm being chased towards Blackwater and I'm riding a six-speed horse. The Pinkertons are very aggressive, and they ride after you hard, and it can be difficult to get away from them on a slow mount. Whereas a fast horse will simply run away from them and leave the danger behind. And our latest timing point reveals that the thoroughbred has made up some lost ground. It is losing on average less than half a second per minute to the Nakoda. And the Appaloosa's average is creeping slowly upwards, losing over a second a minute now. Crossing the Dakota River now, and we are well over halfway.
And now we're passing the old Horseshoe Overlook camp. Always fond memories of the game from that period. We'll go through Twin Stacks Pass and head across the Heartlands towards Immortal Ranch. The thoroughbred is now far enough behind that a running shot with the repeater at the Nakoda would be difficult without Deadeye. And the same goes for the gap between the Appaloosa and the thoroughbred. But it took well over 10 minutes of hard riding to get to that point. Over time, my ideas about which stat is most important have changed. My first playthrough, I just wanted a fast horse that didn't go down easy. This led me, and a lot of players I think, to gravitate towards either the Arabian or the Turkoman. In subsequent playthroughs, I began to value stamina more, mainly because I like swimming the horses long distances. But for me, speed began to be less important. I began preferring to ride some of the, the less sexy horses. And now the way I generally play the game is to have a maximum bounty and to fight bounty hunters all the time. So gradually my focus has shifted towards health being the most important stat to me. And if you have a high bounty, they bring those dogs and I hate them. You get negative honor for shooting them. So I generally trample them with a the horse to kill them. But if you go down and there are four dogs, you either shoot them or you're going to die really quick. And I don't mind negative honor per se, but I like to keep my honor up in order to keep my expenses down. And this means I'll have to devote time to getting my honor up again after five or six encounters with bounty hunters because I'll usually wind up shooting an enemy horse or two as well. And it's that, the investment of time, that I dislike about taking unnecessary negative honor. A horse with higher health can help with that by not going down as quickly. So currently, out of these three horses here, I would probably most prefer to play with the Appaloosa, simply because it has higher health than the other two, even though it's slower. Winding our way through the Roanoke High Country now, approaching the final portion of the race course. And this has been a long race, but one thing you might take away from it is Tumbleweed to Annisburg basically is much further than Van Horn to Blackwater, which is the Horseman 9 Challenge distance. Well, the Horseman 9 Challenge gives you 17 minutes. And as you can see by the time here, we're gonna make this run in much less time than 17 minutes. So no matter what speed your horse is, uh, if you're worried about doing the Horseman 9, you shouldn't own any horse. 17 minutes is more than enough time to go from Van Horn to Blackwater. Okay, so Rachel has gone down. And this is a race, not a time trial, so John has to get back on that horse and continue. And the Appaloosa just passed him. 
Rachel lost something like 12 seconds in that crash. And now the Nakoda is approaching the finish line, which is the island in the middle of the river ahead. And clearly the Nakoda was the fastest horse. And now the other two horses have encountered a cougar. The Appaloosa dumps John, but Rachel did not. John has to run across the finish and Rachel reclaimed second place. So, a bit of drama at the end. Okay, if you stuck with me to the end, I hope that was entertaining. I enjoyed racing these three horses across the map and hope you did too. Until the next time, thanks for watching.